Hello everybody and welcome once again to Forever Stranded. In this episode we're going to go and catch an Enderman and put him in a bottle. But we'll do it automatically. Because I don't really want to go trundling around trying to find Enderman. Um, so let's start with this. So, as you may notice here, I'm in Ocean Biome, but that's an aside we'll show you later on. So, in my little... Uh, let's go downstairs. And let's go to my little spawning area. What I've done here is I've added a new spawning area. What I've got in here is, as you can see, I've got lapis lazuli glass here. And that's going down from a, a powered spawner. The reason I'm using a powered spawner is because the other spawners don't work. Let me show you, for example. I shall be brave and do this. So in here I've got some spawners. So let's just find one that, for example, is... Um, so what's this one? Skeleton. I don't want a skeleton. I'll have a zombie if I can find one. Creeper. Definitely not. Zombie. This'll do. Ah, that's the Risturb spawner. So I can put this spawner down here. And right click it and nothing's happening it's always on and it should sort of do things shouldn't it like uh, let's do this pick it up Oops, it's disappeared over into the item collector here let's just take it out of that so let's go upstairs again and prove this is actually does normally work but because i've got all of these um actually let's do it downstairs and what I want to do it is in fact yes here see because I've got in here one of these a mega torch and that's actually blocking everything if I, if I put this down like this here and then break the mega torch I need an axe for that Now I click on this, it should start to spawn. Well, I hope it was going to spawn. Anyway, they weren't spawning. I'm not sure if I'm not being patient enough, but I hit up for there for quite a long time. So let's go back upstairs and then back to the spawning area. So what I did instead was to actually build a, a powered Enderman spawner and put it down there. And then I've got conveyor belts pushing everything down towards this centre point here. So let's go down and have a look at that. If I get down here, I should be able to click this. So yes, I can. Right, click this. So this is a mechanical user. And it's set to Entity, and I've got 12 soul vials in here. And it's going to right-click on the top slot only when it gets a redstone pulse. Now this thing here is an Entity Detector. So all I'm doing here is detecting the one block in front of it, Radius X. Probably one behind it as well. And all Entities. I could actually filter that to say a specific type of Entity. So for example... In here we do have some filters for entities and they look like this and then when you've right clicked in there an enderman or whatever a creeper with it then they become that type of entity and these are blank ones and at the moment i haven't i decided we'll just do anyone so let's turn this on like that that should turn it on straight away and you see two endermen have immediately spawned and disappeared this one's got stuck. Oh, that wasn't very clever. Actually, I saw Van Hal do exactly the same thing. So I'll just turn this off. Oh, you go downstairs here. They can't get away because of the uh, inhibitor. See, now I've actually got... Oh, it actually did... 
two endermen. Okay, so I suppose we're going to have to deal with those because they're stuck. They won't move. Let's just do it like this. That's got picked up again by the. So where was my? Oh, yes. No, you're not going to go anywhere. Sorry. All right, the other one's being picked up, so that's fine. So what I've basically got to do then is to move them out of here. So let's just take the pickaxe here and just break this one block. I did pick that up a good. And we just push them to the side. I didn't even need to do that, did I? I could have done it the other way, like that. So then if they spawn behind it, they'll get pushed out and end up in the, there. You see, I here have an inhibitor obelisk to prevent the endermen spawning away. And those two pieces of glass have gone into here. Let's go and get those. With some two ender, three ender pills that I picked up from doing that. Right. So that's how that works. And now we've got, we should have three in the bottom in this chest here actually I've got four because I think I had one in here before and in here we should have oh, actually three that's right and I've got nine left so that's how I've been automating the catching of endermen or putting them in a bottle something else that's happened is I finished that dirt quest oops and I finished the sapling quest and I've actually finished these Nether Star quests as well, our collector quests. So let's have a look at those first of all. In fact, what I'm going to do, what I've got in here, okay, I can get rid of everything in here, is to right click this, and here I should have 1000 Nether Stars. So if you have a look, quick look at my inventory for Nether Stars, I have 3075, I have plenty of Nether Stars. So this is now basically the cow one so if I just simply turn it doesn't matter which one's there actually you can just if I activate this and then we should start to see this one disappearing we have to go to the right one there we go and I click yes and it should start to consume these see 24th 100 and that goes up fairly fast hopefully it hasn't lost any when I did that without it being selected It goes fairly quickly, but the rewards for this quest are incredible. So let's actually go and have a look at the first quest I did. So the standard dirt collecting quest is completed, and I haven't claimed any of the rewards. We got two beacons, and bounce out the capacity back, and twenty loot chests. Click those. I suspect I can't hold the loot chests. No. Let's go. Oh, that's full as well. Um, let me just find another chest. This gold chest will do. Yeah, that makes sense. I've got heat resistant potion, a bit late for that now, of course. So let's take a few of these and open those up and see what we get. I got a legendary one, 64 upgrades, 10 water mills, one angel ring. How many is that? One, oh, two, octuple compressed closet, my goodness. And another 20 loot chests, okay. <laughs> right, next one. Good. Well, no, the rack's not too bad actually. Grass, I really don't need that. What I don't understand is why does it sometimes autofill and sometimes not autofill? Now the brick fences. Okay. Throw those away. If 
that probably would be a good idea is to come along here so if I can get rid of any more of my inventory I I'll take these out of here right just two more items and I'll put these into this chest anyway right let's have a look let's get rid of those and sort that again okay diamond or iron or gold or maybe good mushrooms cobwebs and sticks lapis lazuli and redstone blocks actually they're used for the quest stone dark boots and another 10 loot chests I better get rid of some of this stuff on time actually I can move those out of the way can't I so we go again what's that double compressed bones not sure what the use for those are clay was useful double compressed gravel stone and sand actually might be semi it might not be too bad with that one 81 blocks I think that's a quest carpenter got one of those but it's no problem some more ores some of the most useless weapons of all so I'll put those straight into the trash can I should keep that with me at any time shouldn't I more mushrooms more mushrooms I got one of those. So I actually made one by accident. Oh, that's a really good one. Another presser. Slime. Yep. Too late for some of this stuff. Let's have a look. Dealing with so many chests is quite a, it's quite a time-consuming bit actually. <laughs> what have we got there? Compressed spider eye. Oh. I'm not sure what we do with that to find out and some more compressed diamond hammers and they're actually quite good. It's 40 emerald door. Look at that. So we've got dragon's breath and a well. Another well actually, I've got one of those, they're great. Some more compressed stone, another three dragon's breath and a well that's what do we got here? Because you can actually make those but they're quite expensive. More diamond or gold or another cobweb. Another carpenter. Oh, we got some now interesting food. Tacos, epic bacon and chicken celery. Oh, that's a good one actually. Let's go and put that, in fact, let's go and put that in the fridge. I got auto jump turned on. What else we got? Oh, flux infused helmet. That's just, that's actually a pretty good set of armor. Let's see if I can sort this out. I've, I've already filled a diamond chest of stuff. Isn't that incredible? So we can get rid of it from there. And we've still got another fifteen chests to open. Well. Okay, cobblestone. Well, don't need any of that. My ceiling don't really need any of that. Oh, another dragon's head. A semi epic. Wood, clay, and blocks and enderpearls. More food. Another dragon's egg. Oh my goodness. Do you know this does? Lots of apples. This should be. Um, which one's that? A diamond apple, but that seems to be broken at the moment. What well, a good set of apples. An alloy smelter, legendary. Oh. Another set of dragon breath, some diamond tools. So, oh my goodness, got any lots of stuff in here. Some of it's pretty good actually. Yet another. I didn't get that one from there. I actually got the one up behind me it was actually from the uh, another set of that food as well. And another one, my goodness, that's a lot of stuff I've got out of this. And I think that's them all done. Right, 
I'm going to quickly sort that out because I can't do anything until it's all sorted out. So let's put this stuff in the fridge here. Magna creams and stuff like that. What I'll do with this next is simply double double click this here and see what we can get rid of. And see what we can get rid of in here. I've got more food in here. Didn't see that. I should get quite happily through this in the bin. What do I want to throw in the bin? Those. Some more sticks and some grass. Don't need that. Have a quick sort. That's quite a reasonable hoard from one particular chest. That should have disappeared into the system but didn't. Let's try that again. Okay, let's throw away things that we really don't want. Twigs. Put the wood into the system. Put the food in the fridge and then we've basically got a reasonably clear inventory again. So let's have a look at this quest. Do you know, I don't know why it keeps disappearing off like that. Has it disappeared? Is that why it's, is that why it's gone? The quest has been completed. I didn't notice. Dirt. Done. Ah, oh, yes, there was another stars. So, um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to do with all of these things. 50 loot chests. I think I need a diamond chest. Let me just go and get or oh, a crate. Let me just go and quickly get another diamond chest out of the system. Um, so I'm going to have to make a wooden chest, an iron chest, I reckon. It'll do. We have to make a gold one. quickly but we're gonna need more than this we could actually make a crate I've probably got a crate around as well but let's have a look. Um, if I've got one it'll be in my index uh, that standard small one will do Right. Oop, nice freeze there. So that one's full. I wonder what we're going to get. I don't. I'm not going to open all of those loot bags up for you. But let's go and sort out those two quests that I've sorted out. Let's claim that one. What do I have to do here? It's completed. Oh, it's a choice reward. Didn't see that. I have no idea. Magnum blocks, we can make our own. Golden apples of the notch type, we don't really need. Creative spikes. 10 infinite water sources. 50 loot bags. Um... What's a bean pod? Let's have a quick look at what a bean pod is. If I can make it. Creative spikes we certainly can't make. So that's a bean pod. And there's no recipe for it. So I'm going to have to do some research before I claim that reward. In the meantime, let's go and claim the other one, the saplings one, because I haven't done that either. That's 300 LP plus one unbound soul chord. Yep, 300 XP. Let's just put that away. Three hundred and fourteen XP and another unbound soul shard. Oops. 
Can that? No, it doesn't stack. Kills 128, kills 256, tier 2, tier 3. Well, I'm going to have to research into what they do as well. So, that's that. That took quite a lot of time. But let's go and have a look at something else. Shall we go quickly off to the end city and have a look? Because over there, uh, yes, I need to get my stuff back again, don't I? What can I do with these? I will take one of these instant damages and put those two in there. And we'll take the rest of my stuff. I'll have the pickaxe. I'll leave some of this stuff in. I was going to show you some rocketry stuff. Maybe I will do that. Don't need that. I'll take my hammer with us. We'll take this. Take that just in case. Angel wings we definitely need. And these two items. Let's take that. Let's take the rocketry stuff with me. And the boomerang, of course. We need that. Space Station 2 chip. Clock. I should actually check here. Yes, it's okay. So everything seems to be running through there. That's fine. That's a good test. Oh yes, the biome changer. Let's let me show you that as well. I've got another loot chest here and an axe. I think that'll do from there. That, that was the uh, the dread lamp, by the way. Oh, and food. Right, the biome changer. If you select this and you shift right click, you can choose the biome that you want to be in. So for example, let's go over here. Because I don't mind having a bit of ocean biome around, even though there's no water. If we come to say, for example, here it does a 20 block area so when you shift right click this like that opens up which area so you say ocean okay and then you right click it and then turns does this flashing like this from the satellite that's above and changes this biome into ocean i guess it's, it's doing the sticks as well Isn't that fun Well, the range of the magnets is quite, oops, quite a long way. So this now, we're now in ocean biome, as you can see. So if we can find other oceans, other biomes, somewhere, we can actually collect that data with the scanner, I think, and then use that to actually convert some of this area to being that biome, which of course is great for bees. Now, I know that a lot of people don't like bees, but I think they're great. So let's just jump over to the, to the end while I'm here. Well, I don't understand why this is so slow now. Now I should have some markers. Yeah, it was a city, and that's the portal, okay. It's rather a long way, and if it's going to take this long, it's going to take quite a long time to get there. So what I'll do is I'll just break now, and then come back as soon as we see something that's interesting. Right, I'm back, and as you can see, there's some more landmasses here, and here is a... I think this is a dungeon, not 100% sure. I have been here before. If I look on my map here, Jay, you can see here is where I am approaching this, and just behind that there is a city. So let's carry on and have a look into this dungeon. In fact, I probably should get my weapons ready, shouldn't I? Let's have that one and I wanted my sword. Where have I put my sword? I must have left it behind. So we need the 
What's in my hand doing? Let's just go over here like that. That's where I came in last time. And then I went down. There was a... Sh I think it's a... Sh Let's get rid of that. I don't know if there's anything more interesting down here other than this. And Enderman, of course. And then you come down the bottom here. And let's have a quick look if there's anything below this. I don't think there is. Just these purple blocks, which are actually are needed for um, one of the extra utility generators. Okay, that's what we need it dull. So let's carry on towards the city. Okay, that way. He must have thought I looked at him. Well, he can fall off the edge. Here we come. What I should do, of course, is to set up a a point here where I can teleport to. That would be a lot more sensible, wouldn't it? No idea what's down here. Oh yes, I hear one of those things. Where is it now? That one, I think. Now oh, that's a strange noise. I've not heard that before. It doesn't actually hurt that much, where is it? You can actually hit them. Oh, there you are, look. to eat actually looking at my uh, health here I haven't really got anything special on me food wise
Yes, I can see. There's quite a few around here, aren't there? I'm going to do I'm going to put a marker down here. I'll do it on the boat, I think. Some passive and non passive mode. Yes, I can see it, don't worry. What a chest. Now this looks like an, a super place for a marker. Let's have a look. I think I've got one on me. So let's just do it here. Shift right click. And then that place is marked. So I shall go home now. Portal's 2,411 metres away. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Oops. Should do it the proper way, shouldn't I?